In this video, I want to compare DocDB versus ClickHouse and tell you which one is the best. So if you guys want to start with one of them, watch this video till the end to don't miss any important information. DocDB and ClickHouse are both powerful databases designed for fast data analysis, but they serve different needs. Let's compare them. First, let's talk about DocDB, what it is. A lightweight in-memory database that runs inside your application or on a single computer. Think of it like a super fast spreadsheet for data analysis. It's best for smaller datasets up to few million rows or tens of gigabytes. Data scientists or analysts working on laptops or single machines. Quick analytics in tools like Python, R or Jupyter Notebooks. Embedded analytics in apps where you don't want a separate database server. There are some key features that DocDB has. Easy to set up, no server needed, just a library you include in your code. Great for complex queries and joins on a smaller data sets, support standard SQL and works well with tools like Pandas or SQLite, free and open source. Now let's talk about performance. Very fast for in-memory processing on a single machine, it struggles with very large data sets that don't fit in memory. The ease of use. Super simple to start with, especially if you're familiar with SQL or Python. Minimal setup, ideal for quick experiments or local analysis. Now let's talk about ClickHouse. What is ClickHouse? A distributed column-oriented database built for massive data sets and high-speed analytics. It's like a heavy-duty warehouse for big data. This app is best for large data sets like billions of rows or terabytes of data. Companies or projects needing real-time analytics on huge data like web traffic or logs. This app is also best for scenarios where you need to scale across multiple servers. There are some key features that ClickHouse has. Optimized for big data with excellent comparison and fast query speeds. Supports distributed setups, so it can handle massive workloads across many machines. Advanced features like materialized views for pre-computed results. Open source with paid cloud options for easier management. Now let's talk about performance. Extremely fast for large scale analytics, especially on the normalized data. Can be slower for complex joints or small data sets compared to DocDB. Now let's talk about ease of use of it. More complex to set up and manage, especially for distributed systems, requires more configuration and resources, so it's less beginner friendly. Now which one is better? Choose DuckDB if you're working with a smaller datasets under 50 to 100 million rows. You want something easy to use on your laptop or in a Python script. You don't need a separate server or complex setup. You're doing data science, ETL tasks, or quick analytics. For example, a data scientist that analyzing CSV file or a developer embedding analytics in an app. They can use DocDB. Choose ClickHouse if you're dealing with huge data sets, billions of rows or terabytes. You need real-time analytics for things like website traffic or logs. You're okay with setting up and managing servers or using a cloud service. You need to scale your database across multiple machines. For example, a company tracking user behavior across millions of website visits can use ClickHouse. Bottom line is neither is better. In every case, it depends on your needs. If you're a solo analyst or working on smaller projects, DocDB is likely a better choice because it's easier and faster to get a start. If you're handling massive data or building a system for big companies, ClickHouse is better because it's built for scale and speed on large data sets. Thanks for watching this video. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and subscribe to the channel.